finally means um, coming to an end. Vocabulary refers to knowing the meaning of words and is critical to successful reading comprehension. Building vocabulary involves teaching your learner how to figure out the meaning of words while reading. It also requires selecting and studying the meanings of individual words and parts of words. It's important to relate these vocabulary words to learners' current and prior experiences to help cement them in their word bank. Magazines are also um, capitalized. Okay. When you preview a text to read with your learner, select vocabulary words to pre-teach that your learner might not know and that are important for understanding the text. Some good words to pre-teach fall in the category of difficult words. Difficult words include types of context clues. Context clues are pieces of information that often appear near a word or a phrase and offer direct or indirect suggestions about what the word means. There are four main types of context clues, often found in texts, that can help readers understand the meaning of an unknown word without having to look in a dictionary or ask someone for help. You will see a learner and a tutor learn about and practice different kinds of context clues that include restatements, definitions, synonyms, antonyms, or contrast words. Okay, so today we're going to work on a specific vocabulary strategy to help you to learn words that you don't necessarily know already when you're reading along, and um, this strategy will help you build your vocabulary, okay? okay? And it's called uh, using context clues. Okay. So what is a strategy in your mind? What, what, how would you define strategy? It's to look up something, to, to figure, um, to, uh, how can I say? How to learn a learn a um, a way of working in the book? Yeah, it's like a technique. Yes. Yeah, a learn away. That's yeah. that's a good learn way away. to say it. To learn away, like a game plan or a strategy. Yes. That's that's exactly right. So um, we're going to talk about context clues today, and there's four different kinds. There's a restatement uh, context clue, a synonym context clue, definition context clue or an antonym or contrast. Okay, so the first one is restatement. So it's saying something in a different way, saying the same thing in a different way, like repeating with different words. Okay, okay? so the okay. first part of your sentence might be <clears throat> contain a word you don't know, but then as you read on, it might retell re you the same thing in different words. Okay. Okay, that's restatement. Um, I'll give you an example. The dog was gigantic. It was so big, it couldn't squeeze through the door. Do you know what gigantic means? Yeah, it means yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't know what gigantic meant, <laughs> the second part where it says, it was so big, it couldn't squeeze through the door, <laughs> that would kind of give you an idea yeah. that that's what the dog was. He, was. he couldn't fit, he was too big, yeah. he was huge, yeah. and that means gigantic. Okay, so this is an example of the context clue we were just we were just practicing. The strategy that I'm going to use on this one is called think aloud. Mm -hmm. And this is what people do a lot of times when they're reading, they're doing it inside their head. Okay. And I'm going to try and do it out loud so you can hear the thought process of me trying to find the clues that are going to tell me the meaning of a word that I don't know. Okay. Okay. Some snakes are so poisonous that their bite is fatal. In some cases, a person could die within minutes. Okay, so if I don't know what the word fatal means, I might think to myself, I'm going to read the rest of the sentence and see if there's any clues that can help me with the meaning of that word. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just read the next sentence too, because maybe it'll restate or tell me something in different words that will help me. The second sentence there, after the word fatal that I don't know, is in some cases a person could die within minutes. So a person could die. That's very serious, right? <laughs> yes. So if a bite is fatal, a person could die. Maybe fatal means deadly. If I put the word deadly up here where fatal is and read it and it makes sense, then maybe I'm on to something. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then I can always go to the dictionary and check it if I'm still not really <laughs> sure. But a lot of times you can just figure it out. Okay? So if I read it that way, some snakes are so poisonous that their bite is deadly. 
in some cases, a person could die within minutes. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense, it right? Makes real good sense. Okay. So that's a strategy that you can use um, anytime you're reading a sentence. Just keep going, skip the word you don't know for a minute in your brain, and then come back to it and try and look at the clues. Want to try one of your own? Yep. Okay. So this sentence, maybe you can try that and do the thinking aloud like I did, okay. if you can. The little girl missed her nap, so she was ready, really de de cantankerous. She was grumpy and difficult all afternoon. Okay, so this word here is really new. You don't know that word, right? Uh -uh. Never spelled it or used it. No. So <clears throat> when you read the next sentence, what what words in this sentence? Des describe the little girl uh, or, or give you a clue. and difficult. So the word cantankerous could mean grumpy and difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's another word for grumpy and difficult that you know? Like what would you upset. use? Upset. Mm -hmm. Grumpy and difficult, upset, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Or um, like if you were talking about a little child, like your grandchild, they missed their nap, what would you say? Let's um. say your grandchild missed their nap and they were really Unmanageable. <laughs> that's a really good, that's mm -hmm. a big word. Yeah, that's a good one. I was thinking of fussy, cranky. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. but the unmanageable, unmanageable is great. So cantankerous could be kind of grumpy, fussy, uh -huh. unmanageable, uh -huh. and difficult. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So without even really knowing cantankerous, you kind of were able to come around to what that means by reading yeah. all the words around it. That's the restatement. In the context around the word you don't know, it's saying the things that that word means in different words that you do know. Even after introducing this strategy, a tutor may find it necessary to point out context clues as a learner reads in order to show how they work to define the meanings of words. This is especially important when you're working with English language learners students who may lack the cultural knowledge and educational background to understand context clues on their own. Explicit instruction is necessary to allow adult new readers to learn, practice, and use this strategy independently. Developing background knowledge and a strong vocabulary is key to reading well. For this reason, it's important to explicitly and regularly focus on vocabulary development with your learner. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative. 